another knife review. Of course, you'll know if you've seen the title. This is a special knife here, and I mean that literally. The 75th anniversary of uh, Buck. The Buck 119. And this is the real sheath. If it comes with another sheath, it's not the real sheath. And if you're wondering about my fingernails from smoking cigarettes. <laughs> it's just discolored from cigarettes. It's always there. <laughs> but, just in case you was wondering about that. You see how all my other fingernails are fine. I smoke with my left hand. And, you know. Well, anyway, let's get to it. It's the Buck 119 Special 75th Anniversary. They, they give it another name. I forget what they call it. I, like I said, if I'll put it in the title if there's another name. I just forgot. <laughs> you see how badass it looks? It looks like a K-Bar. If you just took the blade out, it looks like a K-Bar. I hope you can't hear that in the background. I hate when people talk in the background. Yeah, as you can see, this ain't a blood groove. This is to lighten up the blade a bit. And it makes it easier for stabbing. Some people call it a blood groove. Some people are like, it's not a blood groove. But it's just to lighten up the blade. And I like the, the hook here. And it, it's almost sharp enough to cut, for real. It's a real nice knife. I'm proud of this knife. And I don't know what material to handle it. It's probably hard red, well, resin. And you got the, the polished aluminum. Now hold up, it might be steel. I don't know. I don't have my tape measure, fuck. I knew I forgot something. Oh. Put my fucking finger on the blade. That it's sharp. You see them little scratches? That's from me sharpening it on my stone. You can see how sharp it is. It may not look sharp, but it is sharp. Then you got the the leather between the the pommel and then between the hilt and this is an actual good combat knife I don't want to say stabbing but look at the blade shape it's obvious and uh, the thicker the knife is the thicker the, the material you need to cut why does this always fail me Plus paper tends to just bunch up. Who the hell cuts paper with knife, you know? It rolled. But you get the point, it's sharp enough to do the job. And if you and I found a little life hack too. If you need to hone your edge, just do that. I wouldn't suggest it if you value your sheaths. Oh yeah, you got this right here too. Then you got the sheath here. This has a uh, plastic lining it for extra prote protection. And then you got the the belt loop it's kind of too big for my belt I got a like it's kind of I got kind of like a military belt the ones they use in the military and it's kind of skinny I would take it off but there's no point you know where mil if you know about the military you know what they look like now you can see 
cuts through it too easily. Buck 119 special, 75th anniversary of Buck. Oh, that, this is what it's called. It's called the uh, Buck Hunter. I think, I don't know for sure. I think it's called the Buck Hunter. Because how the blade is and everything. You, you would literally use this to stab hogs in the heart. <laughs> I think I covered everything. Mirror polished steel aluminum. I don't fucking know. Groove, sharp edge, very deadly point. Let's see. Yeah, if you know what I was doing there, you know what that does. People do that, they'll fucking stab and go with the blade. <laughs> Alright, I think that covers everything. It's a really good knife. I ain't gotta say it's good, you can just tell it's good. It made out of really good steel. Once you sharpen it, won't need to sharpen it for a long time. It's, I mean, phew, the hardness on this thing is ridiculous. Alrighty, I think it covers it. Goodbye.